Hello everyone, I am Sahana Prasad from Department of Commerce, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Welcome to Business Studies class. In today's session, let's continue with Chapter 11, Marketing. And today's topic is Sales Promotion. This is Session 10. So, what is Sales Promotion? Sales promotion refers to short term incentives which are designed to encourage the buyers to make immediate purchase of a product or service. Sales promotion it refers to short term incentive. Incentive means that which encourages someone to do something that we call it as incentives and sales promotions are usually designed by the business to encourage the buyers to buy the products of a business immediately. So, sales promotion it encourages buyers to buy the product. A product na nodi orke product toho beko anta ansatte. So, adna na wo sales promotion anta kariti. So, examples kod bodo. For example, cash discount. Cash discount means iro price kinta no kadme mar koto orke discount korta re. That is cash discount. Sales contests in adru uh, contests na conduct mar bitto uh, price koda tara. Amale free gift offers. Iwaga one do product togondre inondu product free. So that is free gift offers and free sample distribution. Free sample distribution uh, usually it is done by the business when they launch new products. So these are all the few examples of sales promotion. Now let us see the merits that is advantages of sales promotion. First one is attention value. See attention value means sales promotion yautara irate andre adu customers ke attract madate. So it induces, it makes the customer, it encourages the customer to buy the product. It draws attention of the customers. So that is attention value. Next is Useful in new product launch, if a business is offering a new product or if it is launching a new product in the market, then sales promotion definitely helps the business uh, to increase the sale of the new product. So that is useful in new product launch. So in Agatendri, if a product launch, usually a free uh, samples are distributed. So if a Kadme Bele Rokelodu products say nirathe. for example uh, shampoo uh, soap like that but when the hosa product na launch maadbe kare our products na auro free sample lagi distribute maadtare so usually dhe na gatte endre customers or regular agi yeh no products na togol tittare adh na bitto hosa product na try maadtare so that is useful in new product launch next is synergy in total promotional efforts synergy means it is a, a combined effort or a combination in total promotional efforts. See, sales promotional activities are designed to supplement the personal selling and advertising. If you sales promotional activities, for example, free samples, so it also, it is also a personal selling and advertising. So that is synergy in total promotional effort. So it is a combination of all types of promotion mix. So that is synergy in total promotional efforts. So these are the three merits of sales promotion. Next is limitations of sales promotion. First one is it reflects crisis. Reflects crisis means if a firm frequently relay on sales promotion, it gives the impression to the public or to the consumers that they are unable to do a particular sale of the product or there are no uh, takers of the particular product. So, or a uh, company or a business so frequent agi sales promotion madta ida endre yavutre impression barutte endre ya uh, yurge a uh, particular product na sariyagi sale madak aagtala athwa product na yaru thogotta illa adikine sales promotion martidare anna ondu impression barutte so that we call it as it reflects crisis next is it spoils product image sometimes if business rely on uh, sales promotion few customers they feel that these products are not made of good quality or the product is not appropriately priced ivaga product na image spoil agutte anodu ond limitations yakide andre ivaga kelu customers ke anuspodu ivu ee tara free a distribute maartta idare athwa ishtondu discount kodta idare andre adu olle quality idu alade irbodu athwa sariyagi avaru price ittil de irbodu anta anusutte so these are the two limitations of sales promotion 
Now let us see the commonly used sales promotion activities. There are 11 commonly used sales promotional activities. First one is rebate. Rebate means offering a product for a lesser price. For example, a car manufacturing company may offer 10,000 discount for a limited period. So that is an example for a rebate. Next is discount. You know what is discount? Discount means offering products at a lesser price. For example, uh, a shoe company, it may offer a discount for 40% uh, or 50%. So that is discount. Next is refund. See, refunding means they pay a part of the price which is paid by the customer with some proof. If you have a product, a product na purchase maadadikke bill athwa cash memo yen irutte adanna hoge avarge kotre ivaga for example a product do on the wrapper irbodu athwa cover irbodu so adanna kotre avaru price na salpa dudu na nimge wapas kodtare so that is refund next is product combination product combination means offering another product as a gift along with the purchase of the product for example uh, if you have purchased uh, 1 kg of uh, Ata that is wheat you may get half kg of sugar free or you may buy 25 inches TV or you may get a vacuum cleaner free so that is product combination next is quantity gift quantity gift means offering extra quantity of a product for example uh, sh in a shaving cream they may offer 40 percent extra or in a toothpaste they may offer 25 percent extra or buy two get one free offer for a t-shirts all these are examples of quantity gift next is instant draw and assign gift uh, instant draw and assign gift means if you scratch a card you may get a car or a computer or a cycle etc so that is instant draw and assigned gift. Next is lucky draw. Lucky draw means in a bathing soap, you may get a gold coin or in a lucky draw, you may get a free uh, coupon uh, for uh, free petrol of a few liters. All these are examples of lucky draw. Next is usable benefit. Usable benefit, for example, if you purchase goods worth rupees uh, 5,000, uh, you may uh, get a voucher worth rupees uh, 5000 free. If you purchase goods worth rupees 5000, you may get a voucher for a holiday worth rupees 5000 free. That is usable benefit. You may get a discount voucher if you purchase uh, garments or clothing above 2000, etc. So that is usable benefit. Next is full finance at a 0%. Uh, many marketers of consumer durables, especially electronic goods like TV, fridge, washing machine, they offer uh, installments for the customers. Installment schemes are offered to the consumers. That is full finance at 0%. Next is sampling. Sampling means they offer a product for customers for free. So this is useful when they are introducing or when they are launching a new product in the market. For example, a detergent or a toothpaste or soap etc. That is sampling. Next is contests. Few business they may uh, conduct a contests like a quiz program or few games. So if they win, they will get a prize. So these are the commonly used sales promotional activities. Next topic is publicity. What is publicity? Publicity is a non-paid form of communication. Publicity is similar to advertising and it is a non-personal form of communication. Here there are no sponsors. Publicity generally takes place when favorable news are presented in the media. Iga for example, yato the car manufacturing company, Ivaga petrol aldene, Nirhaki engine odus podu thwa car odus podu unta madadre. So that becomes a big news in the media. So here the car manufacturing company need not spend money to uh, promote his car. So it automatically it gets promotion in the media. So that is publicity. And coming to the features of publicity, there are two features. First one is publicity is the unpaid form of communication. Here the business, it do not spend a single penny on publicity. Publicity or ge adagade sigate. So our yenu no one churu no ya dudna spend madala. So this is unpaid form of communication.
and here there is no identified sponsor or communication as the message goes as a news item so idu news tara hot hog bidutte so media li news tara hogirodrinda jana adana nambadakke shuru martare here the message goes to the people in the form of news rather than in the form of message and this message it goes to the people who are not interested in listening to this kind of news all to those person who do not uh, pay any attention to paid uh, form of advertising so if advertising or dud kottu in advertisement kottirtare adanna yar nortare alva avurguno kuda ee news kalpatte so that is publicity and this publicity is not under the control of business and here the media would cover only those news which are newsworthy to them and here the firm it can't use publicity to actively promote its products so the news worthy agirbeku media garige anisbeku idu na janakke tilisbeku anta so avaga matra avaru they can make use of publicity regularly they cannot uh, you know uh, go with publicity so this is publicity next topic is public relations what is public relation it involves variety of programs designed to promote or protect companies image and its individual products in the eyes of public so public relation means it involves varieties of programs so in order to promote the products of the business business will have varieties of uh, programs designed to promote their product and also to protect companies image and its individual products in the eyes of public ili public andre yaro general public government shareholders intermediaries group activists etc ಸೊ ಅವ್ರ ಮುಂದೆ ಅವ್ರ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸು ಮತ್ತು ಕಂಪನಿ ಇಮೇಜು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವ್ರು ಏನು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ವಿತ್ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಸೆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ that entire responsibility to manage public relations it will be in the hands of public relations department now let us see the role of public relations this question is frequently asked in the examination for four marks and this is very important topic from this uh, chapter first one is press relations the organization or business should have a, a positive uh, relationship with media or press so the products or service what they present in front of media it should be presented in a positive manner and generating news it requires skill in developing and researching a story and getting the media to accept press release is a very difficult task so they should have a good press relations next is product publicity see new products obviously requires special effort to publicize that particular product here the public relations department they manage the sponsoring of such uh, events so public relation department serate kelu events na sponsor madutte for example arranging sports or cultural events like news conferences seminar etc that is product publicity next is corporate communication see the image of the organization it should be presented in a positive manner especially to the public and to the employees of the organization so ivaga for example a ceo press jothe maatadadagli or products bagge athwa trade athwa fair en irutte athwa exhibitions irutte alli media dor jothe maatadadagli athwa aa reethi or products na promote madadagli adellano ee corporate communication al barutte next is lobbying see the organization sometimes they have to deal with government officials and different ministers in charge of corporate affairs or industry or finance with respect to uh, policies related to business and economy so obviously the government also seeks to have a very good relationship with a uh, various uh, business association see whatever policies or rules or laws which are uh, which are made by the government that has to be followed by the business and even government should also have a good relationship with different business associations so that is lobbying next is counseling see here counseling means the public relation department it advises the management of the organization related to general issues like environment wildlife children rights education etc like this the company can create a goodwill by contributing something to the society goodwill means reputation of the company so this is counseling so these are the five role of 
public relations. See, apart from these, there are other four important marketing objectives. See, maintaining good public relations also helps in achieving the following marketing objectives. First one is building awareness. See, the role of uh, public relation department is to create a story and they have to uh, dramatize the product in the media so that so this will obviously create a good marketplace before they launch the product so that is building awareness next is building credibility see if a particular uh, product launch comes in the media instead of other forms of uh, advertising or personal selling or sales promotion uh, usually uh, people tend to believe it and it uh, builds credibility credibility means it will have some value if a particular product is launched in the news channel next is stimulates sales force before the launch of the product the uh, customers they know about the product from the news so obviously it will help in the increase in the sale of the product so that is stimulate sales force and next is lower promotion cost so public relations uh, it do not cost much compared to other forms of promotion mix like advertising, personal selling or sales promotion. So obviously it lower promotion cost. So this is the topic from chapter 11 that is sales promotion. Thank you.